times I've been lifting a bag of sand only to find out that there's a hole in it and the sand is leaking out all over the garage floor. And I also have often wondered how much work I was doing as I lifted that leaky bag of sand. Well, thanks to integrals, we can find, at, find out. Now, my particular bag of sand that I'm working with um, corresponds to a problem on page 461. The bag of sand starts out at 144 pounds. As it gets lifted up to 18 feet, it loses half the sand. And we're trying to figure out how much work is done. Well, from the reading, you know that our work equation is W equals the integral from A to B of f of x dx. Let me just point out what these pieces mean. The limits of integration A to B correspond to the distance at which the force is applied. So A and B are our distances on our picture. F of x is our force expression at any given time over the course of that distance. Now these leaky bag and bucket problems become tricky when we're looking at a particular moment in time and how much force that particular bag has at that time. And the way we do that is with a proportion. Our bag is half full when it gets to 18 feet and since it's leaking at a constant rate it only goes to our bag is half full when it gets to 18 feet and since it's leaking at a constant rate it will be empty at 36 feet so we can create a proportion like this that tells us for any given distance how much of the sand is left for example at 18 feet, we have half the sand left. 36 minus 18 is 18. 18 over 36 is half. And if we put in 36 feet, we have 36 minus 0 over 36, which is 0. So this, this proportion here will tell us how much of the sand is left. Since it started out at 144, if we multiply these together, that tells us the weight or force at any distance x and that's how we're going to set up our f of x. So here's what it looks like. w equals the integral over the distance that we're applying the force which is 0 to 18. Our force expression which is 144 times 36 minus x over 36 dx. And so let's go ahead and do this integral. Now, as it turns out, 36 goes into 144 four times. So I'm going to factor the 4 out. Leaving me with a relatively simple integral of 36 minus x. The antiderivative of 36 is 36x and the antiderivative of x is x squared over 2. We are integrating from 0 to 18. Luckily when we put in 0 uh, that stuff all goes away. In fact 0 is probably my favorite number to do math with because <laughs> there's not a lot of work involved. We also have to plug in 18 so let's go ahead and do that. I happen to know off the top of my head that 36 times 18 is 648 and 18 squared over 2 happens to be 162 and when you subtract those and multiply that out we end up with 1944 foot-pounds of work to get that leaky sandbag up to 18 feet.